thank you very much for uh, being a wonderful host, Perplexity. Uh, this conversation uh, will be remembered for a long while. Thank you. podcast with the tagline future simplified thank you perplexity for this conversation uh, i've for a long time been passionate about informing students and uh, their parents and their well wishers about what is happening in different disciplines of engineering science so all of us can make informed career decisions if i know what's exciting for the you know in the pipeline for the next 10 20 years in any discipline now i will be that much more equipped to make um, wiser decisions and this was the true inspiration behind creating this platform for uh, for the benefit of students their parents their well wishers and the community at large that's a wonderful motivation now let's delve into the topic can you share how you envision the future of engineering evolving and what new opportunities it might offer to aspiring professionals? Engineering um, is, I think, at the cusp of a revolution, primarily because I see multiple disciplines of science, uh, technology, engineering, contributing to the betterment of mankind and society at large. The traditional barriers between different disciplines of engineering are rapidly breaking down. Uh, thanks to advances in data science, AI, robotics, um, and many such enabling disciplines, uh, I see new careers in, in uh, even traditional engineering disciplines be very different from the careers that, say, my generation or my parents' generation um, sort of were um, in. That's truly fascinating. Now, could you elaborate on how these changes in engineering might impact education and what skills will be essential for students to thrive in this evolving landscape? I think uh, students will increasingly find themselves in a position where there is learning to be gained in the classroom and uh, there is also learning that they will be part of in one way or form outside the classroom. Uh, this combination of what students will learn in the classroom and out of the classroom will make them a more complete graduate. So curricula will actually begin to leave more room for this outside the classroom learning. For example, at IIT Madras, we recently brought down the total credit requirement for a BTEC degree, as well as freed up more credits, even in the curriculum, into the elective category. So the student is far more in control of their own learning process than has, been, has ever been before. I think that's an important uh, aspect of how I see students developing the set of skills needed to be uh, future ready. That's a great approach to holistic learning. Now, let's shift focus a bit. How do you see the role of technology, especially with advancements in AI and robotics, shaping the future careers in science and engineering? I think uh, AI and robotics are going to cut across almost every discipline of engineering. So I think the first take home message for any student watching even this Curtain Razor podcast is to be equipped on these two cross cutting um, sort of technologies and engineering uh, disciplines to be conversant, not just with the science of AI, data science, but to actually be able to 
bring it down to an application and help a problem uh, or nudge a problem towards uh, a solution. That's insightful advice. Being well-versed in AI and robotics will indeed open up numerous opportunities. Now, let's talk about the practical side. How can students start preparing themselves now for the future careers in these evolving fields? While they are students, I will suggest first, inform yourself of what are all the different options in your chosen line of engineering, science or technology. And the purpose of this podcast is to sort of make sure there's a platform with credible people giving you advice from their life experience, professional knowledge, and to be able to really bring um, a, a sense of what is happening both globally and within India in their discipline. So my guests are going to be drawn from a wide range of uh, uh, engineering, science, and technology disciplines. And they, were, they are go here with the sole purpose of informing our audience on what future careers are going to look like. I think that's the start for any student to become future ready. What are the unique features of the Professor Mahesh podcast that listeners can look forward to? I think first unique feature that will be a key differentiator is that uh, it will have, uh, it will be a source of credible information with experienced and well-known professionals uh, giving insights for our audience. A second distinguishing feature is that this uh, is going to be available in multiple languages. So while the podcast, the long form podcast will be in English, a conversation in English, uh, a summary will be available in Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, as well as English. I really want to see the information contained in this podcast be accessible beyond the the English speaking or English understanding student population. I really don't want language to be a barrier. Uh, apart from this, I really believe a, a third distinguishing feature of this podcast will be the fact that we will have a forum uh, where students can ask questions and uh, we will set up a platform where these questions are answered and students, parents and well-wishers will be participants in a two-way conversation. I really believe that's an important aspect of informing the public at large. How did your experience as Dean and Mentor at IIT Madras influence your decision to start this podcast? Well, uh, from the leadership positions that I've had the privilege of being part of and from having seen students up close for at least 20 years, both in the United States and India, I have recognized that uh, students have questions. And in this day and age, uh, we need a platform where they can get answers in a timely fashion from a credible source. And I've felt this lacuna for a long while and uh, it's taken some time, but I've, I think all our thoughts have now come together. And I think this platform will serve that very sharply focused purpose. Are there any plans to expand the podcast to cover other fields beyond STEM? Well, for now, um, you know, my own core expertise is in mechanics and uh, uh, mechanical engineering. I'm going to have these conversations uh, around various fields of science, technology and engineering, as well as mathematics. Uh, but over time, I do hope and uh, aspire to see a wider range of professions be benefited by, have, by being a credible source of information going beyond the, the STEM uh, disciplines. Where can listeners find the Professor Mahesh podcast and how often will new episodes be released? Well, the podcast will be available um, on the full form podcast will be available on YouTube 
uh, as videos and uh, on Spotify for the audio only versions. But uh, snippets from this will also be available on other social media platforms, including uh, Instagram, Facebook, as well as uh, LinkedIn. I hope students and uh, the community can uh, find these resources on these platforms and uh, find them useful. Uh, new episodes will be available uh, every week. We will cover a wide range of disciplines over the next couple of months. And I certainly hope listeners will uh, subscribe to the channels and learn uh, what's happening, when, what's exciting in different fields of science engineering. What's your message to students who are currently feeling anxious or confused about their career paths? I will suggest that uh, they should find uh, information from credible sources uh, to help them first understand uh, what is exciting in different disciplines. Every discipline in India is going to see a massive upheaval from civil engineering, aerospace engineering, biotechnology, material science, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, you name a discipline, there are so many exciting prospects that are available in every discipline of science and engineering. The scope for an individual student to step in and make a difference while also earning a good livelihood, supporting their family and, you know, leading a good life is essentially the motivation behind creating this podcast. To create, uh, to bring this excitement to every student in India who can then make a knowledgeable, informed career decision driven by their own passion that is the reason we are doing this. And I certainly hope every student can uh, take advantage of this resource and uh, choose a career that is more aligned with their own driven internal passion and drive. Um, I think India will benefit a lot from having a generation of students be driven by their passion. That is what drives me. Thank you, Professor Mahesh, for sharing your insights and passion. It's been a pleasure having this conversation with you. Best of luck with your podcast, and I'm sure it will inspire many. Thank you once again.